The PM's approval rating has plummeted from a high of plus 11 in July, after Labour won a landslide 174-seat majority, to minus 38. Sir Keir Starmer has suffered the biggest fall in popularity for a new prime minister, a humiliating poll has revealed. The PM's approval rating has plummeted from a high of plus 11 in July, after Labour won a landslide 174-seat majority, to minus 38, a survey by Moore in Common has found. It comes amid widespread fury over the upcoming budget, the axing of the winter fuel payments, freebies and the channel migrant. The Chancellor is planning to announce a cut to the earnings threshold at which employers pay national insurance and an increase in the rate of contributions. Capital gains tax, inheritance tax and fuel duty are also expected to be in her sights. Meanwhile, the £2 cap on bus fares introduced by the Conservatives will be lifted to save cash. Sir Keir's falling popularity takes him below his predecessor, Rishi Sunak's rating of minus 37 when he lost the election to Sir Tony Blair, who led Labour to a landslide win in 1997, had a popularity of plus 46 three months later. It took three years before he dropped into minus figures. Boris Johnson, who started off at minus 20 despite winning the 2019 election, had turned his rating around to plus 3 by January and then plus 14 by the following March. Luke Trial, the executive director of More in Common, said the collapse in Sir Keir's approval rating was unprecedented compared with other prime ministers in the modern era. He also suggested the electorate had become more volatile over the past couple of decades, and added, although they had a landslide, in terms of popularity they didn't have the slack to spare that other new governments had. Sir Keir has said Labour would not continue the fiction that you can have lower taxes and public services that run properly, in a speech ahead of the budget. Asked if his priorities were out of step with the public mood after a poll suggested most voters would prefer lower taxes rather than investment in public services, the Prime Minister said, No. I think for too long, we pretended that you could lower tax and spend more on your public services, but you can't. And it's about time we faced up to that.